Hello, Evelyn. Hi, Barry. Welcome. Great to have you with us. Oh, so, so royal. Oh, <laughs> of course. You're at the Water Lot Inn. The moment I walked in here, I was just amazed at all these amazing artifacts and like this great map over here. Well, what you're looking at is a great piece from the 1800s, you know, that just helps set the tone and the feel for, you know, the history that's here at the Water Lot Inn. I mean, we've had so many people through history uh, share their meals with us or stay here while we were in the inn. The list is so long, it's just amazing. So this place used to be an inn? Yeah, that's correct. All the way from 1670 to 1949, it was in the same family line, the Darrell family, and they ran it as an inn until the surviving member, her name was Claudia Darrell, passed on in 1949. After that, people who bought it stayed in the innkeeping business, and, and then it generally, over time, became restaurant only when Princess Hotel took it over in 1970. Was this stuff originally here? I noticed some really cool artifacts, uh, a compass on the stairs and some butcher knives upstairs. Upstairs we have some great old uh, wooden tables that were brought over by ship from the Orient, mm. you know, that probably date back again to the early 1800s. The part of the room that we're in right now was added on. This was a, an outdoor patio. Wow. And then as we became a dining room and needed more space, we obviously closed it in and uh, gave ourselves more seating to accommodate our guest needs. So with the beautiful view that you've seen looking out at the, you know, Jews Bay, yeah, it, it's just a perfect too. setting. The sun sets right out here. So it's a spectacular place for cocktails, a spectacular place for dinner. And, you know, it's the second oldest restaurant on the island. Wow. So there, and you'll find, as you said, the compass on the stairs, some great pieces, the bullseye glass uh, to the left of the fireplace, that whole fireplace, the Bermuda seat of beams in the lounge. It's just a perfect setting, and, you know, people just want to be here and want to be a part of this history. Barry, thank you so much. Well, it's my pleasure. It's great to have you here. Now we're going to get you a little bit of food so great. you can see the experience and taste it for yourself. Oh, perfect. Right this way. Thank you. Thank you. What service? <laughs> Everybody seems to want the same sort of comfort food, or a majority of people do. So the contemporary parts comes from the things that are a little bit more adventurous on the menu. I like to think of it as contemporary a little bit, but at the same time too, it's a lot of old classics. Mm -hmm. So uh, everyone still loves steak, but people love fish as well. So uh, one way that we're doing it is with the Steakhouse concept of serving side dishes as opposed to just serving composed dishes. So if they want steak or if they want fish or if they want chicken or if they want duck, you know, it's all here. And then they can pick and choose from their side dishes. So that way they can uh, individualize their meal. And it's even better when they have more people because everybody can share amongst themselves. So what is distinctly Bermudian about the water lot? Well, it's the, the building itself. Um, the building has been around for hundreds of years. What I do love about the restaurant is the old historic feel about it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, although I love modern contemporary restaurants as well, uh, just the feel of this restaurant you walk in, you feel at home and you feel relaxed. When you come and sit down for dinner a couple hours, you can go by very easily and yeah. you never feel like, uh, it, like time is dragging. 